Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment. So, many of you, well, several of you, well, some of you, all of, everybody who responded said that they would like to see me decorate the journal, the uh, Snow White journal. So, I will do that. So, in order to get that started, I wanted to um, make some stuff on here that is um, to put in it. So the biggest thing is that the, anything that I want, any kind of ephemera that I'm going to get, does it, I don't want it to be bigger than that, five by seven. Now my actual pages, and we'll get this here, are, let's see, if we have this page, here, I'm going to get one in the middle. Let's get this one. So the actual pages are, seven and three quarters i'm gonna write that down that's tall so seven you know sometimes i do three quarters and sometimes i do 0.75 why is that by six okay so i know this i kind of want it to be that way but i don't want it to be any bigger than that so i'm going to go ahead and make me i know this is going to sound kind of silly but what i want to do is I'm gonna get me a piece of cardstock. This is the first thing I'm gonna do, y'all. The very first thing that I'm gonna do. We'll make the simplest thing first. And I said seven and three quarters. And then I'm gonna make this three quarters. Okay. I have a little extra, extra, extra. I keep all my extra card stuff. You know, there was this lady and she had the best idea. She kept, and I may actually do that coming down the road, but she said that she had, she used those um, magazine holders. And what she did was she kept all of her card stock separated uh, by a, a larger sheet of paper or card stock. And then she put a, um, a, what do you call it? The page protector in each one that had all of the scraps from that color. Isn't that the most organized thing you've ever heard in your life? I mean, really. All right, so I'm going to grab, which is why I wanted to keep all of these scraps. Grab the scraps, and then we'll see some scraps. All right, I'm going to use my, this is my, this is the only two inch punch I have, but it's kind of pretty. So I'm going to, um, oh, do, I'm going to start kind of, fold, well, it has to go to right, well, there. I am going to sort, go ahead, now, it doesn't have to be two inches, it can be one inch can be, I just happen to have this one out. I'm just gonna punch, look at me. I think what I'm gonna do is put this one here. Actually, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do another one of these, like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it just like that. Now, do I want to ink around here with the, um, maybe with the, what am I using? We are using, kind of using this for everything. So what I'm going to do is get me, maybe I'll use Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to put a little bit right here. Oh. here excuse me if my head was in the way but I want this to kind of be right like that and the one on the bottom I think I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom so it's okay now do we want if I could Maybe I want these to match. Let me do this. I think I'm going to want it to match. 
but why not? And then I'm gonna do this here. Oh, I didn't. Look at me, y'all. You didn't say anything. I didn't. Y'all didn't yell at me, Tina. Okay, it's okay. This one time, it's okay. All right, and I'm gonna put this one like right there. And this one. And then these are the things that I made, and um, I have different ones. Follow your heart. Can it? Well, just one. I made these on the computer. How about this one? Have a beautiful day. So I'm gonna put this one in the middle. So what this will be, when I put it, I'm not doing it now because I'm not decorating right now, but this will be a belly band in the middle of the page. Very simple belly band. Isn't that pretty? It's really, I think it's very pretty. And I think actually it would probably go really good on that page right there. <laughs> Maybe I should go ahead and stick it down. You think so? I think so. I think we should stick it down. I wasn't gonna, but you know, I think it goes perfectly right there. So I'm going to... I'm going to stick it down. Which is, how was that happening? Just, um, because the green goes so pretty and the blue, all of it just goes so well together. So that is easy. That is very easy. And it makes a really pretty one. And if you use smaller circles, you can have it all the way down. And it's just so pretty and such an easy thing to do for your journal. So there you go. So that's why I like to save all the offcuts from the um from what I'm doing just cuz just cuz. Okay. So now that was the easy one. Get the easy one out of the way. And um what up the next one is and I've done this before, but it's been a while. I went to public domain and I got this corset. I'm going to let I'm going to go ahead and link public domain. What it is is it's actually a uh it's a raw pixel site, but all of the if you go jump in type in public domain, everything is uh non-copyrighted. So So I'm going to cut this guy out, guy, girl. And you can see it's only it's like a little over 5 and so it's going to fit. It'll be fine. And I'm just going to um, cut this out. I did this once in a journal. I can't remember which one I did it in, but... Um, I'm going to cut this off right at the beginning so I can put my own lace up there. Um, and it'll be pretty. I'm cutting it off. I play them in frame. I'm just cutting this out, y'all. Okay, now for this. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Let me get my little scissors. I'm going to cut. This. Off. I'm going to, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll just cut. I can glue that to something. This needs to be, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just do it like this. Okay. 
Now, this is on cardstock, but I'm probably going to put it on another piece because I want it to be really sturdy. And I probably should have done that before I cut it out. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a scrap piece. I can actually just use this, which will be... Let me do that. What do I do? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I'm like, uh-oh. Let me go ahead and I'm going to put this on here and cut it back out again. Wait, this is a... Let me not use that one. This will work. I'll just use a white one. I've been making so much stuff, my glue is getting used up. Used up, used up. So, y'all, this is double the cardstock, double the fun. So, there you go. And I figured, you know, maybe Snow White wore a corset, do you think? But either way, it is really a fun a fun element for a junk journal. You know, what did she do with her corset when she was living with the with the little men, with the dwarves? What was she? What was she what, what was she doing? Was she did she hang it on the bedpost? Did she just not wear one? These are things that, you know, I want to know. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that she was just like, I don't know. I mean, she got really lucky. They were nice. They could have been really mean. They could have been like, you know, serial serial killers or something. But then Disney wouldn't have made a movie out of it, right? Yeah. Okay, I think for this one, I'm going to use, to ink around it, I think I'm going to use a little bit of, um, I'm going to use this. Because it's gonna it's gonna be more like a shadow, you know. So I'm gonna use my vintage photo. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my crocodile. Yeah, you right. You heard me. My little, my crocodile. I'll we'll get the little, the little one, and I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go over these holes. I'm gonna cut these holes out. other side I'm actually gonna probably have to put this in the book too because it won't go together without being in the book Okay, so we have all of these. And what did I did? You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all, I'm gonna go all the way up. Let's 
so I'm going to do it this way so I can kind of match them. Let's see. I have one here, one here, here, here. I'm just spacing them out. Okay, I'm going to do that. Here. It's like it doesn't have to be perfect. You could also use an awl, but um the crocodile makes for bet for really much better um holes <laughs> if you understand what I mean now I'm gonna get I'm gonna go in my stash and get you know what you could use I'm gonna get hopefully this is enough this is Some tiny ribbon. Give me some big washi tape. Okay, I'm gonna start. What I did was I put these two, uh, this ribbon, I got this ribbon. And what I'm gonna do, because I want it to be about like that, I'm gonna get me some of this washi tape. And just kind of make make it so it stays. And then I have this needle and this needle. I'm gonna have two needles. Okay. I'm gonna be all right, you stay. Maybe I should use um packing tape or something. Okay, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go up one. See? Like that. And then this one. And go up this one. Okay, and then this one will go over here. I gotta <laughs> do this thing. And then this one will go over here.
Okay, that took a little while, but hey, look how pretty. So then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it over and make a little bow at the top. Like that. And what I think I'm going to do, actually, you know, I could probably do a better bow. Just a little better bow. Yeah, I like that better. Is, okay, so now we have this, and like I said, I think it's a little time consuming, but I think it's really cool. Um, so I think I'm going to have to put this in there in the book. Let's see if we can find something pretty. Ooh, how about this right here? Definitely. Okay. So what I'm going to do, hopefully this won't tear. It's not tearing. Good. Is tear this off. And then I'm gonna take some. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna use art glitter glue. And we'll go around the edge. I'm going to spread this out. I'm probably going to go ahead. I don't want to put, um, I'm going to put a little drop of glue in there just to keep that from coming unraveled. Okay, I'll make sure that's all in there. I'm going to get some of, I think, this or this I saw. I'm going to get some lace. Thought I had. Oh, this is perfect. I think there's enough of it. Yeah, I think there's enough of it. So we'll put half of this. Get some fabric tack. Piece of lace right here. And some right here. Now what you would put in it, and I'm not gonna put anything in it right yet because I'm not done, but we could put a tag in it. So um, you can put, let me just see if I have something that I can show you. Like this. This is not one that I would put in there, but it would go in there like that. Isn't that cute? It's really, really cute. I want to make sure this is going to be stuck down. Yeah, so um, that is a corset tag. So that's really cute. So the last thing I want to do and I'm also going to probably have to do this in the book. I don't know. Um, oh, this came off. Is I saw um, one of uh, somebody. I think it was. Let me see. Hold on. It is. Oh, it's my junk journal heaven. And she is a brand new subscriber. I'm a brand new, um, brand new YouTuber. She just started her channel and she had this thing and I, and I want to try it. What she did is, and I'm going to use this because I really, I got this picture off a of public domain. It reminds me of a forest and it is, well, it is a forest. 
It is five, exactly five by seven. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Now, I don't know how this works, but I am not sure. I just saw it. I'm flying by the seat of my pants because I don't know how this works, but I am going to um, give it a shot because, you know, I have this crazy imagination here. Um, this is, I'm, I'm inking the edges just to get rid of that, um, those white edges. Okay. Um, I think it needs to be on a background. I think it does. I'm going to get me a piece of, I'm going to use gray cardstock. If I can find my gray cardstock. Gray cardstock. You know, I've been using it, so... Here, here's a, a dark gray. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to make it a not quite 5 by 7. I mean, I'm going to make it 5 by 7. But what was I saying? This is 5 by 7, so I'm going to make this like an eighth of an inch more. And I don't know what I'm doing, really. I'll just bear with me. <laughs> so 5 and then just a little bit more. Oh, I was getting ready to throw that away. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this. To, I'm going to glue this around the edges to the back. I'm going to get it kind of even around to make sure. I just love that. It reminds me of a chan enchanted forest. This looks like a... I don't know what that is, but look at it. All right, so now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to... Let's see, seven. So I'm going to say... I'm going to do... Where's my thing? Uh, I'm going to do like maybe one and a quarter from the top and maybe this far from the bottom. And then I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut these here. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to find me a piece of, this is going to go here. I'm going to find me a piece of cardstock that I can use to write on. I think I'm just going to use, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use a, a piece of parchment paper. Um, I'm going to measure it. I'm not going to need to measure it too much, but I'm going to this far down. Um, I thought this was a really cool idea. It would be good for my journal. And then I am going to make it um, I'm going to make it about right there. You'll see what I'm doing. You probably already know. If you've looked at her channel, then you already know. Okay, you know. 
it's just so some it's just you know because if you if you've gone to her channel and a lot of you guys on my Facebook group maybe have already but that's cool um so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put I'm going to put glue on both sides. Then I'm going to stick this. And she said, I think she said Melina did this. Now, uh, my porch prints did this with a small one. They were the first ones that I saw do this. Do a small... Um, little tag that did this okay and then this whoops hello this will go in here and I might have to cut it off a little bit yeah I'm gonna cut it off a little bit so out this is going in there I think it'll get better and this is like hidden journaling space is what it is that's what it is that's all it is just hidden journaling space and so this I think it's, yeah, you have to make sure. Like this. All right, let's stick it in the book. And I'll show you. All right, let's find one. Maybe, I think maybe a um, plain page would be good for this. Um, that one's really pretty, but I kind of think there really aren't that many plain pages in here, y'all. Here's one. Maybe we'll do this because see, it's pretty big. So, um, you want to take this. like that and this is going to stick there and then this is going to go here and it's going to be a pocket like that so what i'm going to do with this i'm going to use tape i think i'm going to use um these don't of course don't have tape but i think i'm going to put tape um, just because I want it to be secure, I think I'm going to put tape on these. And here. Sorry if I'm in the way and my head's in the way. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um, fabric tack in the center. That's what I, here. <laughs> See. Kind of fun, y'all, kind of fun. I need to get some more glue. Notice they don't have a lot of it at Hobby Lobby anymore. All right, I wanna make sure that's kind of centered. Let me get this guy. So. Yeah. 
I also think it's important to have, um, so now this will come up like that. How cool. And then I'm going to do the same thing because I want these to, I'm going to use the, um, and you can't really, unless, you know what, if I cut, if I cut this off a little bit more, and I think I'm going to do that, then I can glue that side down. So I think I want that glued down. I'm going to have this glued down a little bit more uh, because I really want this glued down. Just a little bit of glue right there. I don't know. I don't like it flapping up like that. I guess maybe some people would, but I'm not, I'm not a flapper. And I might have to turn it. I might have to, um, if it doesn't fit, I will trim a little more. Oh, it fits. There. Because then, then it's like, you know, it doesn't. Anyway, you get it. You understand. And there went my stuff. Okay, I'm going to take this. Do the same thing with this. Because I want all of the edges. Because I don't want that pocket to be compromised. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, this way. So I'm going to uh, link her channel below because, you know, that's how I do um, where she's showing these. I, I don't know if she showed you how to make them or not, but I, I do know that um, she did show them on her channel. Okay, so now you have the pocket. And so this just looks like a regular old piece of paper but got a pocket here and then this comes up so I like that so that's three so that's three of them and I am going to post some more another you know I will make some more and post some more let me know if this is the kind of thing you were talking about as far as decorating I will also be going through and adding stuff to pockets and different things like that um, but um, I think that knowing how to make some of these inserts is a really good idea so anyway thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you later bye